This is Math Minutes with Mr. White. Okay, in this video we're going to take another look at factoring. We're going to focus on those trinomials that start with 1x squared. Those are the easy ones and I've got a, a pretty simple way to approach it. So let's look at the first example. Here we have a trinomial, x squared plus 7x plus 6, and we're going to try to factor this into two binomials. So I'm going to go ahead and put those parentheses there because that kind of gets the ball rolling. Now the only way you're going to make x squared is by putting an x and an x in those two spots. Remember F-O-I-L, FOIL. Uh, those have to multiply to be x squared, so that's the only possibility there. Now I look at the signs and I see that I have a positive middle term and a positive last term. You see it's all positive, so that means our answer has to have two plus signs also. So once again, I'm, in, I'm filling in what I know has to be true. Now here's the, the problem solving portion of it. We're gonna focus on the number six and ask, how do you make six? How can you divide six up? Well, it's six times one or, or two times three. Both of those would make six. Now which of those two numbers add up to be that middle term, the 7x. And you see it is the 6 and the 1. So I'm going to fill those in here, the 6 and the 1. Now we always check our work before going on. Uh, check that that middle term truly does come out to be 7x. And I see that our middle term here, the inside is 6x, and the outside is 1x. 6x plus 1x does equal 7x. Now if you need a little review, on how to foil. I did make a pretty good video on how to foil, so I'll link that at, here during this video. All right, let's look at another example. Here we have x squared plus 10x plus 16. So once again, I'm going to get the ball rolling by putting my two parentheses. Since this is a 1x squared problem, I know it has to be x and x. And once again, all the signs are positive. So that makes things a little easier on us. We focus on that last term, this 16 right there, and we start to divide that up to see how could we make 16. I think there might be three ways, 16 and one, four and four, and eight and two. Now, which of those will add up to be that 10x, that middle term that we need to add up to right there? Well, it sure looks like eight and two. So let's fill it in up here. And then before you move on to the next question, always check your work. 2x and 8x makes 10x, so that's good. And then, of course, 8 times 2 makes 16, because remember down here, we were focusing on, on numbers that made 16, so that had to work out. So this is a great way to problem solve without much guessing, actually, uh, how to factor a trinomial. Let's start looking at some that have minus signs in it. So here we have x squared minus 8x plus 12. So I'm going to put my two sets of parentheses, get the ball rolling, put my x and x. Now I pause for a moment and I think about those signs. How am I going to multiply two things and make a positive, but then combine to be a negative? Well, a negative times a negative will make a positive. So that'll do the trick here. So both signs are going to be negative. I fill it in. Again, get the ball rolling. We are trying to solve a puzzle here, so any pieces that we can put in place will only be a help. Now, we focus on that number 12, and there's several ways to make that. 12 and 1, 3 and 4, and 6 and 2. Now, do any of those add up to the negative 8? Well, sure, if we put a minus and a minus, we get negative 6 plus negative 2. That makes negative 8. So negative 6 and negative 2. Once again, do your inside and your outside, and just double check that it really does come out to be negative 8x, and it does. All right, I've got two more examples lined up for you. Here we go. This time, the minus sign is at the end. So how, that does make things a little trickier for some students here. We got x and x, of course. Now, how do you multiply two numbers? Because remember, we're going to multiply two numbers right here to make negative 18. How's that going to happen? Well, it's got to be one plus sign and one minus sign this time. Let's, let's divide 18 up. 18 and 1, 9 and 2, 6 and 3. All right, do any of those add up to 7? No, they don't, do they? None of them add up to 7, but that's okay. Because we want our middle term to be positive, I'm going to come down below here, and I'm going to insert a plus sign and a minus sign. So the, the bigger of the two is going to be the positive, because we want them to add up to be a positive. So we need to make sure the bigger of the two numbers is positive. 
Now, which of those adds up to P7? 9 and negative 2. 9 and negative 2. So let's fill those in. Positive 9 and negative 2. And, and again, you see we have 9x on the inside, negative 2x on the outside. Add those up. You get your 7x. And they do indeed multiply to be negative 18. Okay, I have one more example where everything is negative here, the middle term and the last. So we put our parentheses, we put our x and our x. Same deal as last time, we've got to have 1 plus and 1 minus because a positive times a negative is the only way we're going to make a negative through multiplication. So now let's tear that 50 apart. How do we make 50? 50 times 1. 25 times 2, 5 times 10, and I think that's it. Now, none of those add up to 49, of course. This time we want to make a negative middle term. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put a minus sign on all of the bigger numbers out of the two pairs. So which of those combinations, which of those three add up to be negative 49? And it sure looks like that one there. So I'm going to fill that in. The 50 needs to be the negative, and the 1 needs to be the positive. Well, there you go. How to factor trinomials when that first term is 1x squared. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to leave your comments below. I do enjoy reading them. All right, until next time. This has been another edition of Math Minutes with Mr. White.